Hey guys, thanks for joining in. This is Goldie again. In previous videos, we covered a few things including purchasing a domain from GoDaddy and then signing up uh, to G Suite with that domain. Then we verified that domain and then we created our users and groups. And finally, we pointed our GoDaddy domain email services to Google. So, so far we are up and running with sending and receiving emails in our G Suite mailboxes. However, we will still need to do some more settings to make sure our emails should be landing in our recipients inboxes instead of their spam folders and for that in this video we will set up something called SPF records which stands for sender policy framework but I'll make it really simple to understand uh, that whole technical term in a minute but just in case, if you don't care how it works, simply fast forward this video to see the section where I actually create uh, the SPF records in my GoDaddy domain. But I'll highly recommend understanding how do they work. So in future, if you need to troubleshoot something, you know what you did and why. So let me try to explain that without going much into technical details. When you send emails to your recipients, your recipients would like to check whether these emails are indeed coming from you rather than someone who is pretending to be you. And the way you can do that is by telling the whole world that these are the email servers whom you are authorizing to send emails on behalf of your domain. And once you do that, your recipients can then check that the email they have got from you indeed came from your authorized email servers and if they did not that means they have a reason to mark that email as spam and this all happens in the background on your recipients email servers so your actual recipients, the end users, will not need to do anything to get this uh, functionality to check whether these emails are coming from your authorized email servers. So now let's go ahead and authorize G Suite email servers to send emails on behalf of our domain by querying Google's SPF records in our GoDaddy's domain administration panel. So for that, we need access to a couple of things. First one obviously is access to our domain's DNS, which is at GoDaddy. And second is the value of G Suite's SPF record. So I am in my domain's DNS management here. If you are not on the screen, make sure that you log into GoDaddy, go to your My Products section, uh, select your domain, and then click on DNS to land at this page where you can create the records. And simultaneously, I will uh, open another window and I'll search for G Suite SPF record to get the value of Google's SPF record. I'll click on the first link, which is from Google. And as you see, it says query a TXT record with this value. Now, because Google has hundreds and thousands of email servers behind the scenes and you cannot keep track of all of them. So what Google does is it gives you this one value, this one host name and whatever is behind this host name, whatever IPs or whatever email servers, when you authorize, you are telling your DNS that whatever is behind this record or host name, all of those mail servers are authorized to send on behalf of my domain. Anyway, so I'll go ahead and copy this and I'll go to my GoDaddy DNS, click on add record. And before that, just a quick note, make sure that you don't have any other SPF record because you should always have just one SPF record in case if you need to authorize multiple email servers. So for example, if you're using Google, plus you're also using services like MailChimp, then you will still have one SPF record, but with the two values, you will merge both of those values and uh, put that in your SPF. So here I'll go ahead and click on TXT. That's what the record we're going to create and hostname again will be at the rate and value should be the one which we copied from Google right here. So V is equal to SPF1, which means version is equal to SPF1. Include means include. SPF 
uh, .google.com that's the host name and when we say all which means everything which is behind sp.google.com so with that let's go ahead and click on save and once you do that it is always better to just go ahead and do the lookup to make sure that your SPF is correctly created and uh, there is no error for that you can go to a tool that's called Kitterman uh, I like this uh, tool so you will go here and you will put your domain name for me it's goldie.com I'll click on get SPF record if, if any so it says that our SPF has been reflected our DNS record it says the SPF record is found and then it evaluates your SPF record and it tells you whether the, there is any error or not so it says it has passed the validation test which is perfect that means now we have our SPF up and running and it will be helpful for our recipients now that they can do the uh, SPF lookup and make sure that the emails are coming from our servers now in the next video we will go ahead and configure DKIM which stands for domain key identified email which proves that the email is actually coming right from your domain it's it's not that somebody is just pretending to be you so it helps you in avoiding email forging cases so stay tuned and watch the next video thank you so much and as usual if you have any questions don't hesitate to put that in your comments and I would love to help you out thank you